Hi there and welcome to the Unique Geek School of Makeup. Lesson one today is about primer. This video is going to explain what a primer is, why you need it, what it does, the difference it makes, and all the rest. Stay tuned for more details. A face primer acts as a barrier between your clean moisturized skin and the makeup that you're going to be putting on top. There are many reasons why you would use a primer, but essentially it acts as the base to adhere all your makeup products and make them look better. So why should you use a primer? You should use a primer on your face, similar to the reasons why you would use a primer on your walls before you're going to paint them. You need to prepare the surface for which the product is going to be going on. And a face primer, there we go, is going to do the same thing that a primer will do for your walls. It's going to smooth out surfaces or textures. It's going to make the product that you're putting on your face last longer, look better. It's going to save you time and money. It's going to save you reapplying later on. So it's going to make your makeup last longer. So think about priming your face similar to how you, you prime your walls. It's a step that's sometimes skipped, but it is a step that is super important to making sure that your makeup's going to look better, last longer, and um, actually look like a million times better. And I'm gonna show you some examples of why and how it looks better. Next up is the orange test. Now you're gonna think I'm crazy, but our skin is very similar to an orange. It's very porous, it's very bumpy. And so next I want you to see this next slide showing you the results of using um, our face and eye primer on an orange and when we're not using it, and then applying a foundation over top. And you're gonna see what happens to the porous surfaces of that orange. It's amazing. Unique's glorious face and eye primer was used on the left side of this orange. No primer was used on the right side. You can see when using foundation and concealer, there's a huge difference in the smooth appearance of the surface and in the coverage that you get. Next, let's look at the results of using primer using eyeshadow. You're gonna see a huge difference in the, the vibrancy and the color and in the wearability and durability of it. When using Unique's eye primer, a very small amount goes a long way. That small amount there should be able to do both eyes. I'm going to spread it out on the top part of my hand here and then allow it time to dry as it will dry to a very matte finish. Next, using palette number one, I'm going to be spreading the product in different various colors on the bottom and top to show you the difference of when you just, you're just applying the eyeshadow to plain dry skin versus using an eye primer. You'll see that the pigments, they actually catch in the primer and stay in place exactly where I want them to be. The colors are also much more vibrant. And you're gonna see in a second the durability that you're gonna get when you're using an eye primer. When I run my hand underwater, you will see that the unprimed surface tends to look lighter, whereas the primed surface still looks great. When using your eye primer, you only need a small amount. A pea-sized amount, about the size of your pinky fingernail, is enough to do your whole face. I'm going to take the product now and spread it to different areas around my face, and then using clean hands, I can spread the product all around. I'm using downward face, downward strokes because I want to go with the grain of the hairs that are on my face, giving a more smooth and flawless finish. You can take whatever's excess and left over on your hands and actually rub your hands together because it's very nourishing and will make your skin feel amazing. Next, let your primer dry. Next, let's move on to eye primer. Using a very small amount and using my ring fingers, I'll be able to apply the primer over both eyelids. You can take the primer right up to your eyebrows and any brow products that you use to fill in your brows will also stay in place. Once complete, allow time to dry. Thanks for watching the Unique Geek School of Makeup part one on primers. If you have any questions about the products that were shown in the video or that appear on my face in this video, you can send me a message and find me on Facebook actually, at Leanne Leach, or find me on the web at www.uniquegeek.com. I love helping women look better, feel better, and more confident in their makeup because it's just makeup. It's not scary, it's not intimidating. If I knew now, what I, if I knew then what I know now, 
I can't even tell you how much time I could have saved in my makeup routine. So that's my goal is to help save you that time too and to make you realize it's not hard, it's just makeup. So have fun with it and reach out if you have any questions. Have a great day.